Welcome back to the Yes Longevity Podcast, where we give you insight on how to get fit, feel younger, and live better. Today, we have a special guest with us, Kim. Kim started about six months ago, and she's going to talk to you about her journey. But before we do that, I just want to go over a little bit of housekeeping. Our Summer Sizzle program has begun. We've already started melting some fat off of our clients, getting ready for that bathing suit season. And there's still time to get started if you want to start, but you need to get a hold of us right away at 860-673-4293. There's still a little bit of room for one or two more people, but we need to get you started now to get this completed before the 4th of July, special holiday weekend. Uh, second, our... Um, our summer apparel is in. Our summer apparel selection is in. So we've got some nice T-shirts, tanks. If you're looking for some Yes gear, come on, stop by, grab your order form, and we'll get that to you in a couple of weeks. So got a lot of different styles and colors and big selection. I know personally <coughs> I've been working out in the same gear for 20 years. Oh, so I'm, time, one of, I'm one of those people. Time to get some new I, gear. I never, I'm not big on the new gear stuff. So I'm very attached to my exercise clothing. As most men are, I think. Yes, I think so. <laughs> most men are. Like, I know, I always hear the, the little story from the wives in here. Oh, yeah, I was going through my husband's uh, drawer the other day, and he's got these underwear, the holes, and socks, and if I go to throw them out, what happens? I get yelled at. I, I hid an outfit under, uh, in our utility sink, and yeah. my husband found it and had it on the next day. <laughs> exactly. That's so, the way we Next time are. it goes to the garbage can. <laughs> So, uh, Kim is with us today. Thanks for coming on board with us today, Thank Kim. Thank you. It's good to be here. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. We are cutting into her workout time just a little bit. Just a little. But she will get her workout in today for sure. Um, so, I already forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> well, you I said didn't know I started That's what I was going to say. six months um, in here. Typically, when we have somebody come on board, it seems like they've been with us a long time, a year, two years, 10 years, 15, 20 years. We don't get a lot of newbies here. I don't know if they're scared or afraid or they're just not comfortable, but um, I'm so happy that Kim is going to uh, share her experience because she's been with us for about six months. And uh, she started at a crazy time of the year, right around Thanksgiving. I did. I started right after Thanksgiving, sort of right into December. You wouldn't think that's the time of the year that someone would want to get started because it's busy. It's very busy, but I was um, just decided I'd procrastinated long enough. Uh -huh. And I'd had Thanksgiving uh, with a friend, and she was telling me what she was doing to get um, in shape. And we were just talking, and I was saying... I need to do that. Mm -hmm. And she offered me one month free to get started yeah. and try, yes, and see if I like it. And then I could decide after that what I wanted to do. Yeah, well, we do offer out what we call a VIP membership. And we only give a few of those out at a time because it's very right. special. We get let our clients give them to someone who they want to inspire get started they feel like it would be the best fit for them so you come on board and you train with us for 30 days that was wonderful and a lot of places out there give you a week free a session free things like that but i think in 30 days what made it nice was you could really get a feel from how we worked our culture and what made us different and we were already able to start showing you some progress in that 30 days times um so so what when you came on board what was your goals what were you trying to do um I guess my main goal was mm -hmm. I had my idea of working out was just walking mm -hmm. and I hadn't been building up any muscle strength and I'd been just saying, Oh, well, I'll get to a gym. I'll get to a gym. But I hadn't been doing that. And I was also feeling um, just tired a lot after right. my job every day. I felt really low energy. Um, I was relying on having coffee right as I left work to get me through the evening. Yeah. Um, so I, those were the main things. And also, I just felt like I needed to do something just for myself. Right. I procrastinated long enough mm -hmm. with trying to get healthy. Well, you have a family. You got a couple of girls, I believe, right? And, yes. And family always comes first in the mom's life. And, and that's very, very important. But eventually, you've got to do something for yourself. True. I think stress was something else that you were really key on well, trying to eliminate. Uh, yes, I had. Uh, I was having a pretty stressful time in mm -hmm. my job, and yeah, to eliminate stress because I was feeling a lot of stress, like mm -hmm. in different parts of my body, that was making me 
feel physically like hurt right sometimes so right. definitely eliminate stress yes well like kim is a school teacher well a paraprofessional, a paraprofessional. and special services for a school district okay. locally mm. been doing that a long time for seventh and eighth graders that Stressful. is stress <laughs> seventh and eighth grade you people in middle school are, are saints i really like my saints. job but i do uh mm -hmm. need to get out of there at the end mm -hmm. of the day and de-stress mm -hmm. and this is right. a great place to do right. it right so you came on board yes in those first 30 days what happened um, I was very nervous mm -hmm. when I first showed up because I hadn't been in a fitness center in a long time. Right. So I was very nervous at first, but mm -hmm. as soon as I walked in, it was a very easygoing group. Right. Um, I also felt I had a plan. You sat down right. with me, went over a, you know, specific exercise mm -hmm. plan for me. So that made me feel like. I wasn't just part of a big group. It was specialized. So right. that was reassuring. Mm -hmm. And you kind of eased me into mm -hmm. my session. So it wasn't like I just instantly got in here and was left feeling hurt and in pain. It was, mm -hmm. you know, gradual and it was really wonderful first experience. Good. I know one of the most difficult things for anyone is to walk through the front door yes. of any type of exercise facility, whether it's us, a coaching center, or a gym, or Pilates, whatever it is, that's the most difficult thing. There's a lot of anxiety. Uh, we do things a lot differently, so you don't know what to, what to expect. Right. And because we deal with the age group that we do deal with, we want to make sure that you're going to go home feeling good. And you can still go home and feel good and make results, get results, I should say. So what are some of the things that you've found that you've gotten out of coming here? Well, most important, I feel a much more energy. I have mm -hmm. so much more energy. Um, I leave here. And some days I must say I'm feeling like, do I really want to go? But I get over here. And when I leave, I feel very energetic mm -hmm. and I'm much more productive with my life after I leave here. Mm -hmm. It's not like I just go home and you know <laughs> sit on the couch then. <laughs> which is really a good thing. And I no mm -hmm. longer have coffee in the afternoon, which was like a thing that I really needed. And now I will have it now and then, but not like I leave and go, oh I'm so tired after I, I didn't know that. I didn't realize yes. that. I mean coffee's good for you, but exercise is better to create that energy than a cup of coffee. That's awesome. I didn't know that at all. There was another big thing I noticed mm -hmm. this spring. I was helping my husband plant some flowers mm -hmm. and I was able to squat down and stand up very easily. <laughs> I didn't have to roll over to get up off the ground. And I was like, wow, this is working. So that was a huge thing. No, that is very huge. Things happen from exercise that you don't know are happening until you have to do that. You right. gotta move some furniture, do some gardening, carry groceries, whatever it might be. Things happen like that. So I was really impressed with mm -hmm. myself when I was able to do that. You should be. Yeah. So I you should be good. impressed that just the fact that you've been exercising now for six months or seven months, whatever it is since Thanksgiving. That's a long period of time. Went through different struggles. So you did at a point in time have a little bit of break in your exercise. I don't remember what it was for, but a little bit of time where you were not as consistent because some other things were going on in life, and that does happen. But when you came back from there, <laughs> what did I say? You said something that really makes my heart warm. Oh, what was it? <laughs> that you actually missed coming here. Wow. And you missed okay. exercise. <laughs> that's a huge thing for me <laughs> that's huge for a lot of people because now you know we're over the hump that you know that you have those days where you don't feel like coming here and it's you had a tough time or whatever you know that when you get here you're going to leave feeling better yeah for me to say that is a huge thing <laughs> oh that's stuck that's stuck with me i didn't well, forget that that's good because <laughs> there are some days when i think mm -hmm. do i want to come and work out but then I do think of how great I feel afterwards yeah. Yeah. 
and so it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I try to make sure I get here. Well, I sign up for two days every week, so I try to get here every week twice. And I do notice yeah. that if I don't, if there's some week where I can't make it for some reason, I do miss it actually yeah. and feel the following week. I'm like, wow, gotta make sure I stay there twice a week. I'm gonna have my audio guy just loop that. I okay. missed it. I missed it. I missed it like four or five times. <laughs> do I get any benefits from that? Are there any monetary rewards for my voice being looped like that? I don't know. I'll have to look in your contract. Uh, okay, right. sounds good. So what exercise do you hate the most? Um, probably the hardest things are strengthening the core. Yeah. So we've been um, doing this stir the pot, and that's very hard. Very hard. Um, it's very hard because I, I have a pretty weak core. So I can't the, say that that's my core favorite. can't be that weak anymore because we wouldn't give you stir the pot unless we thought you had some core strength because that is a challenging exercise. Okay. That's not an easy exercise. All right. That's taken – I mean, it's great to do planks. Planks are a good beginning spot to be. But in life, we don't just stay stationary. So that's why it's important to be able to develop the core strength while doing other things like some kind of dynamic movements. Uh, that is a dynamic integrated core exercise. So, so that I is have hard. To keep doing yeah, this yeah. You, the pot. Well, <laughs> can't get when, rid of it. <laughs> you're not going to get rid of it, but uh, you know, in your next phase, you won't have it. Okay. Because you will have progressed. All right. And we're going to make good. something harder. <laughs> Stir the cauldron, <laughs> not the pot. Yeah. So, what what's your favorite exercise? Well, I like doing anything with the arms. Okay. Because my goal is, I had a goal to sort of mm -hmm. work on this area of my arm. Mm -hmm. So I like doing anything that works my triceps. And then, are we doing that? Is it? Yes. Okay. Yes. I okay. I put on short sleeves a while ago, and the yeah. arms are looking better than they had Excellent. been. Excellent. So yeah. That's perfect. I'm not hiding them as much. <laughs> We're getting to that time of year. I know. Well, I that's know. a beautiful top, but if it was short sleeve, it'd be even nicer. Well, I don't want to show them off too much. <laughs> but no, I like working mm -hmm. the arms. Mm -hmm. um, and also, there are some exercises that strengthen my back right. because my back sometimes hurts. So, mm -hmm. the, you know, a lot of the exercises that strengthen my lower back are right. good too. Right. During a six month period, did you have? an aha moment about exercise or about doing this? Well, I guess I had signed up when I, after I committed, I mm -hmm. signed up for, I think it was just a three month three months, correct. trial. Cause I just initially wasn't sure mm -hmm. if I was going to commit like I should. Yeah. So I was hesitant, you know, to sign up for a year. But then I think after I tried for the three months, then mm -hmm. I decided, why not, you know, commit because right. I really am getting a lot out of it. I'm feeling better. And, you know, I just said, you got to do this. You got to do it. Right. right. You can do it for yourself. I'm the not girls are wait. out. And you, you know, the girls yeah. are out, grown yeah. up, you know, it's just my husband, and myself, and he goes to the gym in the mornings and I go to the gym in the afternoon. So it's perfect. Good. Perfect. Yes. I like that. I like that. We do, we do offer. I don't think we had this at the time you started, but we do offer just, you don't have to do a year contract. You don't have to do three months. You can go month to month now with us if you want to. We're not, no, I'm, not do that with you, I'm but, full committed. Uh, with this, it is, and the people who commit to us, we commit to men, and it does cost a little bit less to go for, commit for a year's time. But that is uh, the goal of this thing. Well, and I know committed. my personality mm -hmm. too. It's like, yeah. I, that's the other thing I really like is committing to, a certain time each mm -hmm. week um, because I was not the kind of person that I tried before going to other places to work out. Right. And it, if it was just up to me to go and I wouldn't go. Right. So I like having a time where I say, mm -hmm. this is when I go, you know, every Tuesday and every Thursday or whatever the week is. I think because you've been doing that, not only get that into your calendar and that consistency, but you've been exercising with the same couple of guys now yes. for a while. And um, there's some camaraderie there, and you guys have some fun, and that always makes it a little bit better when you come to the gym or coaching center, and you know the people that are there, right. and you know you're going to have some fun while working out. They also watch carefully, because I will say this, in mm -hmm. the past I tried doing different things, and I might not be doing the exercise properly, right. 
So then I would end up mm -hmm. kind of getting hurt doing mm -hmm. different things. So mm -hmm. here it's nice. Um, someone's watching to make sure the form is correct so that you don't injure yourself while trying to get fit. <laughs> it does nobody any good if you no, get injured. No. Rule number one is do not hurt the client. Rule number two is refer to rule number one. There That's you go. very, very important to us. And I think my coaches listen when you give them some feedback. There are some times we'll give you some exercises that are a little bit challenging or maybe the weight's a little bit heavy right now, and uh, we'll scale it back. We'll scale it back until you feel comfortable to make that progress. Is that true? I think that's what it's they totally do true. And it's yeah. also when when I had to miss a week mm -hmm. when I came back, they scaled it back a little bit mm -hmm. for me too because I, in just a week, I felt like I needed just a little bit mm -hmm. less, and they did that, so it's good. So when you do strength training, the amount of time you take off, it's it's incredible how quickly it goes away. It really is, and we don't realize it until we stop and then come back again. Right. But if you if you take um, about a week off from strength training, it'll take you about a week to get back to where you were. If you take a month off from strength training, it'll take you about a month to get back to where you okay. were. So the amount of time you take off, that's about how much time it, it takes to come back. All right, that. I'm not so, taking so, any more time off. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford to be do going that. Over the summer, I'm going you? away for a week, but I'll then. <laughs> have to do something when I'm away. A little bit, but it's good for your body to rest and recover. Oh, right. So it's okay if we go away and just do some walking and you know some curls, whatever. But okay. when you come back, we'll scale it back a little bit. It's what we call one of our clients, Ed, has coined the phrase um, a transition workout. Oh, nice. So, so I like Ed, that. Ed, Ed goes away a lot. He goes away. He has a place in Florida. He has a place in the Cape. So he might like Say, okay, I'm going away next week, so we need to transition this week. So he likes to transition down before it goes away. <laughs> and then when I it comes back, to... we got to transition back. Oh, oh Ed is always I don't transitioning. Go away that often. <laughs> I don't go away that often. Most so. people don't, but Ed is always transitioning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny. So uh, you've had a good experience. Yes. If, if someone was on the fence about giving us a try, figuring out whether we're the right place for them or not, what would you tell them? I would say definitely try it. Mm -hmm. um, it's worked great for me. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the best thing is, too, is the check-ins periodically um, where you meet with me and periodically say, is, is this, are we meeting, reaching your goals? How do you feel? Or is there something you might want to change mm -hmm. and i think that's really important too but i would definitely suggest if you're on the fence of trying go for it because it wouldn't be a mistake to try it's, thank you it's, it's thank wonderful you, and i can't believe that i'm sitting here <laughs> saying this in a, because this is not so not me most of my life so this is great because i finally reached a place where i feel comfortable and feel good about working out so good Thank Good. you. For I'm, that. You're welcome. I appreciate you giving us the opportunity. We don't take that lightly. We're very important people in your life, and I, I we take that to heart. It's very, very important. And I also gotta say, this <laughs> past <laughs> week, last Friday, I worked okay. out with one of the trainers here, and he sent me a little card, <laughs> and it was a picture of me doing stirring the pot, and it said. You did a great job. Keep it going. Mm -hmm. And he actually drew the picture. And getting something like that in the mail was like so fun to right. see. Right. And just the time that he took mm -hmm. to draw the picture. And it's a great mm -hmm. motivator. Yes. So it meant a lot to me. And I showed it to my husband. He's like, what are you doing with that? I said, it's called stirring the pot. <laughs> So it was wonderful. So those kind of check-ins uh, and yeah. reinforcements make a big difference. Ooh, absolutely. So so. We're, we're trying to pay attention. Yes. We're trying it's to working. pay attention. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. So um, that's a wrap for today, Kim. All right. We got to get you to your workout. I don't want to yes. keep you here all night. We got to get you going along here. I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, t tell us about your journey and share that with some people. Maybe we can inspire some other people to move and get a little bit more fit. Great. Thank you. So next Tuesday, we have a big one. I was asked to do a podcast on menopause. Don't know anything. <laughs> and why are you saying that to me right now? I'm not saying to you because I just want to announce what we're going to talk about next week. It has nothing to do with you. I don't think we've ever spoken about that. But I had a client. I might know a little bit about little bit. that. Came on board, and she was 
you know, her doctor said, basically your doctor said to her, forget it. You know, you're through menopause, deal with life the way it is. You're not going to change anything. But quite honestly, she's seen she another needs, physician. She needs okay? a new doctor. Well, we do oftentimes, I hear all the time, people go to the physician and the physician will say, well, you're getting old. You're getting old. Oh, but that's shit. a lousy <laughs> answer. So she came on board with this and she's been able to make tremendous gains. I think she's probably had a, a combination of muscle gain and fat loss of uh, probably close to 30 pounds now in whatever short time period she's been here. I know she started sometime this year, so it isn't that long. And she said, you know what, Chris, I want you to do podcasts on menopause because I want women to know and understand that they can make change in their life. They can change their bodies if they want to. They just need me doing the right thing. You need to have the correct instruction. So next week, I'm going to give what little knowledge I have about menopause, because I personally have not gone through it, and my wife has neither. But I am going to share the secrets of exercise and nutrition and lifestyle to be able to make those changes in your life. So that's that'll be a big episode. A lot of women watch, and uh, it'll be important to get that information out. There. Sounds great. So look for more information from us next Tuesday, where we're going to give you insight on how to get fit, feel younger, and live better. Thanks for watching. Have Thank a great you. night. And that's Man, it, Cam.